and I throw a jab, I'm always thinking about my defense. I'm here, but I'm always ready to slip, a lean back, a duck. On this video, I'm gonna give you three ways to not get hit. The name of the game in boxing is hit and don't be hit. After watching this video, I'm gonna give you a better understanding of how to defend punches and not get hit. Tip number three is the most important one. And with tip number three, I'm gonna give you a drill that you can use today that's gonna improve your skill on not being hit. My name's Tony Jeffries, Olympic bronze medalist, former undefeated professional boxer, seven times national champion, European champion, and today I'm joined with my business partner, boxing fitness expert, Kevin Watson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So how do you not get hit in boxing? That's just like saying, how do I jump in a swimming pool and not get wet? You will get wet, you will get hit, but the least you can get hit, obviously, the better it's gonna be for you. These three methods is really gonna give you a great understanding of not being hit. And method number one, tip number one, is think about defense. Always think about something coming back. So if I'm in boxing with Kev and I throw a jab, I'm always thinking about my defense. I'm here, but I'm always ready for something coming back. And if I'm thinking about it and I'm ready for a punch coming back, guess what? It's gonna be way harder for him to be able to land a punch on me. Moving on to tip number two is do technique sparring. Every sport doesn't have to be hard. Every sport doesn't have to be a winner and a loser. Do technique sparring to be able to learn how to defend. And with this, you can do different drills in your sparring sessions to be able to help your defense. Like one will be just using your jabs only. And it was Bruce Lee that said he's not afraid of the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks one time. He's afraid of the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. Basically, he's saying you need to practice at whatever you're doing to get better at that thing. So now if I'm doing a sparring session with Kev and all I'm working on is a jabs only, you know, what, what that's going to do with him, it's going to help him improve his job so he can do different defenses so he can practice maybe one round all i'm doing is jabbing all he's doing is defending so he can practice different defenses like a parry a slip a lean back a duck yeah he can practice all them different things and then the next round we can switch where i'm i'm defending the jabs only. Then we can do different technique rounds where it can be I throw two punches, he throws two punches, or let's say all he's doing is counter punching, all I'm doing is counter punching. Now what that's going to do there with the technique sparring is only going to help improve us as boxers. And now tip number three is with this tennis ball. Before we get into tip number three, this great, great drill that I'm going to give you, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, and let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. It will really help the channel. Now, tip number three is reactions. Get better reactions. The better your reactions are, the less chance you are of getting hit. Now, how can you get better reactions? Well, by doing what I said in tip number two with the technique sparring, that will definitely help improve the reactions. Then there's drills that you can do with a tennis ball, with cones, with a slip ball. So many different drills that you can do on reactions that will help improve your skills of not getting hit. I've also got a full boxing drills video package. Click the link below, check out that package where I give you 50 of the most best boxing drills from around the world, all in one package. Now for this drill, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get my boxer in front of us in his boxing stance against the wall. I'm gonna throw the ball, He's got to slip out the way of it before the ball hits him in the head because he doesn't want to get hit in the head. This is variation one. I'm going to give you a few different variations of this drill to help improve you. So this is variation one. Yeah, and as you can see there, he's slipping, the ball's coming straight for his head, he's getting out of the way of it. Now, a couple of different things I can do with this variation to make it harder for my boxer is one, I can step closer and throw the ball from here, or I can stay where I am and throw the ball even faster. That's gonna help him improve his reaction. Now, another variation of this, what I like to do all the time when I'm training people, is have them slip 
and then throw the counters. Like in a, in a fight, you're going to slip and you're going to come back with your counter punches. So every time he slips out the way of the ball, he's going to come back and throw two counter punches and it'll look like this. And that's it there. If you like this drill, again, check out my boxing drills video package link below. If you've got any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below and I will answer. Thank you for watching.